Oh. Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Today, we got a 2002 Dodge uh, Ram 1500 pickup with the 4.7. And um, check out the other video on this, um, this truck. The customer's complaint is that the blow motor only worked on high. Check that out and you're gonna see why we're doing why we're doing what we're doing today. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the blower motor and blower motor resistor. Alright, even though the blower motor is coming on, the blower motor resistor is no good. The blower motor is coming on, but it's sounding rough. And this and when you hear that sound in it, um, it's a good possibility that it's gonna it's gonna blow the uh, resistor like it did on this. Check the video out, you'll see exactly how to diagnose it. Alright. It's located on the right side of the dashboard, up underneath the dashboard. So we're gonna get you set up and get our tools and remove the stuff, all right? We'll be right back. Okay, we got our camera set up here. I love this little camera stand, man. First thing we're gonna do is let's unplug, unplug these. You got a little tab right here. Let's squeeze that tab in, unplug it. That's to the blower motor resistor. Now to the blower motor, you got a tab on the other side. Squeeze it, unplug it. Bring them down. Now, for the blower motor resistor, that's all you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. It can be short, but I got a little longer one here. And uh, we have two screws holding it in. Phillips screws. Let's set them down. Screw on the other side. Okay. And just uh oh, look at look at all this stuff coming out of here. Ugh. Yeah, we definitely gonna clean that out of there. Uh look at this resistor. Look at that. Thing is just broken. And we're gonna get all that stuff out of there. Wow. I think something lived up in this thing. <laughs> if I see something dead drop out of here, I'm gonna be pissed off. Okay. You got, got it out of there. All right, next what you're gonna need is, I got a little uh, driver here with a quarter inch drive end. And I'm gonna hook up a 5 16 or an eight millimeter socket. I'm hooking up eight millimeter. Now over here, you got one, you got three of them. One bolt right here, and then they spread out evenly across each other. The other one is, should be somewhere around around here right here in this location but what i want to do is i noticed that those two are right there so i know the third one in, that has got to be back here somewhere there it is right there i want to get that one first since that one's the most difficult to get to Get this one over here. Now there's two different kind of blower motors for this vehicle. One with an air tube and one without. You'll see a little rubber hose going to it. But this one don't have it. So this is the one without. Now next one. As we loosen this one up, 
You see the blow motor starts dropping. So I'm gonna take our other hand and hold that up into place. Take our screw out. And let's lower that down. I have no idea what the heck that was. <laughs> But uh, there you have it. Now I'm gonna just look up in there and see if we got any other leaves or anything, critters running around or something like that. All right, looks good, looks clean. All right, now let's just wait. Things still got stuff coming out of here, man. You know, I think I might get the air hose and blow that out. I don't like, I ain't liking that. Alright, let's wait for Fisher to come back so we can get our new parts and install them. We'll be right back. Okay, first thing we're going to do is install the blower motor resistance. You can see this one just busted. You know, and during our we, testing this, we already knew something was wrong with it, but I didn't know that was wrong with it. Alright, uh, Fisher Auto Parts. Standard. I love standard parts. So go stop by your local Fisher, get you a part number RU109. Okay, Robert Umbrella 109. All right, let's open this up. Ceramic look nice and clean. All right, let's match these up. Okay, that's great. There's our piece right there on that one. Make sure I plug over here, everything exactly the same. Okay, and on the other side, everything is good. All right, let's set our key to, let's set our camera up and get this one. Get this installed. We'll be right back. Okay, we got our thing over here. Here's our new one, and we notice how the plug is set like that. There's a tab over there, so we know it plugs up like that. So we want to make sure. This is going to be lined up. Let's put this up there. And we got our two Phillips screws. We're going to put this one in first. Get that started by hand. Like that. Now we can let it down. Let's get our other one started. Perfect. All right. Now these are these are going into plastic, so they're not really tight. You know, just bring them in to you till they just stop. And that's it. Now we're not gonna plug this up yet. We're gonna make sure our harness stays out of the way. So we get our blower motor and put that in. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we got that in. Next we're gonna go to the blower motor. Federated. 75743. Uh, we got our old one over there. Oh yeah. I like that. First they come with the new wheel and everything. All right. Half messy, messy stuff. All right, let's set our camera up and get this blower motor in there. Okay. Did it, did, did. All right. Now, get our three screws and uh. Now remember, the blower motor goes, the plug is over here facing towards the right. So we're going to get our blower motor up in there. Just like that. It'll fit right into a slot. Let's get our first bolt started. Now 
Let's see if we can get our second boat started by hand. Okay, let's get our third boat. Let's see if we can get that started by hand. Yeah, of course that's gonna be a little tricky to find. There we go. All right, now that we got all three started, we get our driver with the 5 16 or so 8 millimeter socket, quarter inch drive. Just bring them in and tighten them up. This is going again, this is going into plastic, so it's just as soon as it stops, just a tad bit more and stop. Get these things plugged up okay let's plug these up huh. make sure this thing make sure make she sure looked at those tabs and all yeah they're good This is why they got right here. I'm gonna put this, tuck this over to the side. Let's try to get it behind the carpet. All right, let's try it out. Where the keys at? Huh? All right, be right back. Let me go get the keys. Okay. Let's go get a, get the key on. Okay. Right now the fan is off. Let's put it on low speed. Didn't have the key on. Oh yeah, we hear it. Next speed. Next. Then high. Notice how smooth that sounds? You notice the sound of it? That's how it's supposed to sound. So remember, if your blow motor sounds like it did before, and you change that blow motor resistor, it's gonna do it again. See? Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Well done. All right, let's get this out of here. Throw it in the old box and show the customer that. Get our tools out of here. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, there you have it. Changing the blower motor. And the blower resistor, 2002 Dodge Ram 1500. Great job. This is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't, yo, you gotta get you this little camera stand. This little camera stand is great. I was able to set this on the floor, man. Ha, <laughs> perfect picture. This is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. You gotta take it easy.